I don't know if you can tell or not, but we found pretty much the best campsite ever last night. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do a thing. Currently, I am in the middle of my 8,000 mile loop of the United States that I have dubbed Flight of the Magpie. If you have missed earlier episodes, I will link them above my head. Now we'll get onto it. <laughs> and we're on our way. Gary is gonna go to the Badlands with me. Dad is gonna go over the pass with us. And then he'll come back home. But it's very exciting! <laughs> stopped in Phillipsburg with the intention to have lunch and nothing was open. So we went to Anaconda, we had lunch there, dad headed back to Corvallis and brother and I booked it all the way to Bozeman. While we were in Phillipsburg though, brother put his phone on his saddlebag and kind of destroyed his screen. <laughs> don't, don't place your phone in precarious places. <laughs> dubbed yesterday the day of lessons. <laughs> I left Corvallis, Montana yesterday. I spent about two days in the valley before we took off again and I brought my lovely brother along with me this time. He's gonna head to the Badlands with me and then he'll head back home. But I'm stoked to get to bring my brother along with me. We haven't gone camping together before so this is super exciting for me. The reason we dubbed yesterday the day of lessons is because before we even left, my mom cut her finger open with a hand blender. 
she went into town, she got stitches, she's fine. She told me that there isn't much pain now, so we're gonna believe that she's fine. Dad and Gary and I went over Skagaho Pass. It was gorgeous. When we got into Bozeman, we headed up to my first choice of campsite, which was fully packed, which I should have known better. It was pretty close to Bozeman. And uh, Bozeman, in my mind, is like the Portland of Montana, and they have a beautiful backyard to play in. Uh, I convinced brother to trek up a gnarly road with me in twilight to try to find another campground and it was so worth it. It was gorgeous. Of course I have no footage of actually seeing the mountains on our right end because the GoPro died. <laughs> Story of my life. Our last lesson of the day is um, if you are off-road and there is someone behind you, maybe signal something if you're gonna slow down and turn. Um, I may have cut in front of my brother like a terrible sister and he grabbed a big fistful of front brake and downed it right behind me and broke his windshield. And of course there's no documentation of that because it was dark and I was in a hurry to make sure that my brother was okay. So I hope you guys can forgive me. We set up camp in the dark. We had some lovely zucchini and rice and this morning brother and I are going to head into Bozeman. We're gonna go check out the Museum of the Rockies because I miss it and it was so awesome when I saw it the first time during the pilgrimage. So we're gonna go check out that. We're gonna hit a camera shop so we can get a couple more SD cards and then we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully we'll end up outside of Billings today, maybe a little bit farther. Fingers crossed. <laughs> sitting in the parking lot trying to figure out what we were gonna do for lunch a guy in the car next to us was like are you guys looking for pizza <laughs> we were like, mm, yeah he's like you guys should go to the red tractor it's awesome I was like okay it was pretty good pizza We left Bozeman like after two, it was like three o'clock I think when we left Bozeman. It was pretty late. We chose to hit the road at like the hottest part of the day and we felt it. It was atrociously hot. Um, we made it to Columbus and we decided to try to cut it short for the day, which didn't end up be working out in our favor. We got to Cooney State Park and it was just booked full. There was no camping available. So we hauled butt to Billings and as you can see by the white walls behind me, we are in a hotel room and we had red lobster for dinner, which was amazing. I'm white trash and I don't care. <laughs> red lobster is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> But we are going to call it for the night because we are exhausted and hope that there are better campsites in our future tomorrow. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did and would like to see future videos from this adventure of mine around the United States. 
If you would like to get early access to videos like these for as little as $1 a month, you can support me over on Patreon and get ad-free access to videos like these. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I do have stickers, t-shirts, prints over in my Redbubble shop with my motorcycle art on them. If you want to check that out, links down in the description below to all the things that I talked about. If you cannot support me monetarily right now, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys watching these videos every single week. And in the meantime, guys, I'll see you later. Question for my end screen crew. What is the prettiest place that you've ever set up your tent? <laughs>